Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you the preset uh, which is uh, like this and you are getting the previous image was like that and after adding the preset you are getting like this type of effects. So let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first I'm going to the home and I'll open up the raw image. I downloaded this image from deviana.com and I'll provide you the download link of this image for the practice purpose. Press Ctrl or Command J for the new copy of this layer and then go to the filter camera filter. So here in this photo you are getting something spot in a face. At first I have to remove that spots. I am taking time to remove the spots. Here is a spot healing brush tool. So select this healing brush or spot removal tool and select here, here the heal portion and select once. It will take the other pixel from the beside and taking you and giving you the non-affected area so try to find out the spots from the face and it will help you out here is the visual spots so this one will help you out to get the spot in uh, in a prominent way and you can remove them all so after doing that here is another options that is the brush options so you can brush over here if you want to get uh, the brush for the face you have to maintain so select once and you can just select like that and increase the brightness a little bit a little bit not too much and contrast that is nice and clarity make like that and dehaze like this and the sharpness in a minus value and then brush over here when you are brushing the face it will glow it up this portion And then go to the hand tool and after that i'll import the preset here go to the load settings options and today i made the preset for you guys that is the shadow girl and i'll just add that things and if you need you can adjust the white balance so if i give the white balance from here so it will give you the perfect look before one and after one you're getting like that so let's see the settings what i have used in the other stuffs like a temperature minus 17 minus 12 contrast uh, plus 24 and the shadow minus 2 and 13 plus 13 for the whites and blacks plus 7 texture plus 6 dehaze plus 10 and vibrance that is 13 and then if i go to the blue tone curve there is no tone curve green red and the rgb tone curve i didn't use that if you need you can use the tone curve it will help you out to make it nice the so sharpening and detailing options sharpening amount the 48 and the noise reduction 24 luminance detail that is 50 and uh, the color that is 25 color detail 58 and the color smoothness 76 and here the hue saturation luminance hue of the red color i didn't touch here the yellow hue that is the 38 that's why you are getting this type of green type look here i made some green type look for the natural ambient and and here the green that is uh, increased for the saturation luminance increased all the stuffs except the green color i made the green color dim or uh, like a deluminate intensity i made it down but that is minus 28 that's good highlight color 128 value and the saturation 9 and shadow color 51 and the saturation 9 that's good and the effects i add some proscop vignetting minus 9 and the calibration from here plus 19 plus 53 and minus 13 and 3 for the blue primary color and hit ok you can use the example file in the photoshop as well as the lightroom so let's see in a lightroom this effect uh, how output giving so at first i'll import the raw photo and raw image i'll import in a lightroom in a library portion after importing that i'll have to go to the develop mode and then go to the plus sign and import the presets so now i'm import i'm importing the shadow girl this and import it out and going to the user menu or user preset so here is the shadow girl options and if i press it out it will give you like that before one and after one let's see the before and after effects 
but one thing is that in this panel you are not getting the spot removed just because I, I removed the spots from the camera filter but in this portion you are not in, not getting the spot removal you have to uh, remove the spots manually so from here if I go to the heal options and if I make the size like that it will take the same process you can remove the spots from here as well in this portion so you are getting the remove like like that like uh, this so in this panel you are get like that in this portion i can remove that things so you can move from here you can fill it up and in this portion as well that's nice and before one and after one and after that go to the file and export that things and choose that folder which or drive wh where you want to export here i want to choose that and giving the name different and give the different name otherwise it won't be like export that things you use unique username it will export in your directory or folder so hope that you learn a lot from this video and this uh, preset help you out a lot to edit your photographs thank you so much thanks for watching my video detail if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section so until the next video i may say when i'm signing out today bye bye